กุจก The President, please be seated. Ong Inra. The court is now back in session. Court officer is now instructed to bring in TCW 321 into the courtroom. The president. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. What is your name? Response. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Your Honours. Could you please repeat the question? The president. Please tell the court your full name. Response. I am Kyo No. The President. Apart from this name, do you use any other name? Response. No, I don't. I have only one name. Question. Can you tell the court your birth date? When were you born? Response: I don't know the uh, the French way of saying the date. I was born on fr on Saturday, mm, the month of uh, a dark. I am 79 years old now. Question, what is your occupation? Response, I have nothing much to do. I am looking after my wife and uh, children and I also assist uh, people at the pagoda. Question, what is your father's name? Response Q Nop. Question What is your father, uh, rather, mother's name? Response Nying So. Question What is your wife's name? Response 
เงินเอื้อน The president, thank you. How many children do you have? Response: I have six children. The president, thank you. According to the report by the graphic of the trial chamber, according to your ability and your knowledge, you have no connection or relationship with any parties to. The proceedings, including the civil parties and the three accused persons, is the record correct? Response: Yes, it is. Question: Have you already taken an oath before the Lord of Iron Fist? Response: Yes, I have. Question: The president, uh, the the chamber would like now to inform you of your rights and duties as a witness. As the witness before this chamber, you can reject to respond to any questions or make any statements that are self-incriminating. You have the right. Not to incriminate yourself. This means that if your statement can be self-incriminating, you can exercise this right not to respond. And as a witness, uh, as the witness, you are to respond to all questions put by parties to the proceedings, including the judges of the bench. However, you can refrain from responding to any questions that are self-incriminating in nature. You only are to tell the truth, nothing but the truth. Indeed, uh, your statement must be based on your experience, what you witnessed during uh, that time. Mr. Kiu No, a few years ago, do you remember that you were interviewed by people from the office of co-investigating judges? Response: uh, Yes, Mr. President, I was interviewed. Question: How many times? Were you interviewed, and in which years, and where? Response: I don't remember the year, but during this year there was an interview, and there was another interview last year. But again, I don't remember the exact year. The president, were you interviewed two times or three times or just on one occasion? Response: I think I was interviewed two times. The president, where were the interviews uh, conducted, Mr. k i l n e l Response: They were conducted in On Long Wang. Question: Before you appear before the chamber, had you have an opportunity to read or be read out the written record of your interviews before the co-investigating judges, in order to refresh your memory? Response. Yes, I have, but I still feel that uh, the record uh, was not really fully accurate uh, because uh, I, I I need to. I, I thought it was not correct. The president. Uh, so 
uh, it is fair to say that, uh, in general, the statement you made uh, uh, that was read out to you uh, is consistent uh, besides just a few points you said that which was not accurate uh, response. Yes, it is correct, Mr. President. President, uh, next uh, the chamber would like to inform the co-prosecutors that uh, we would like to hand over to the prosecution to proceed uh, with the questions before other parties to the proceeding. You may now proceed. Okay. The President, uh, National Council for Mr. Ying Sari, you may proceed. Council Ang Odam, Mr. President, may I uh, seek uh, some clarification why this uh, witness is not assisted by a jury counsel as usual? The President, uh, the witness has asserted that uh, he doesn't need uh, the jury counsel. For this reason, the Chamber can proceed without uh, one. Okay. The co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honors. Good afternoon, Mr. Kiu No. I am Wayne Hort uh, from the Office of Co-Prosecutors. I have a few questions to put to you concerning your life before the 17th of April 1975, your biography, and then I would proceed to ask you some questions concerning the events you witnessed uh, in 1975 and 1976. My first question is, I would like to remind you of your statement you made before the co-investigating judges that you were ordained as the monk in 1951 in Tropeang Thom Pagoda in Tropeang Thom village Tramka district and you said you met Tamok who was also ordained as the monk in the same pagoda Council for Mr. Kirsten you may now proceed. Say the President. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, President. I'm rather sort of surprised to see the national co prosecutor begin his questioning by reminding the witness of statements that he had made several years ago. I simply don't understand the logic of the national co prosecutor. The witness is here to testify. This is a, a public and criminal uh, case. I think questions should be asked uh, extemporaneously and for the purpose of refreshing his memory. I do not see the rationale of asking the witness to confirm statements that he's made previously without even laying out any preamble. Mr. President, if, if I may respond in consultation with my, with my colleague. Um, the reason for this approach is, in fact, very much um, uh, our effort to follow the Chamber's guidance. Um, what we propose to do, and, and what, what I think our colleagues did over the last couple of days, is to simply recap, uh, by way of background, um, those parts of the statement which do not appear to be to us particularly controversial, and then to use that to go, as the Chamber has instructed, um, further and to uh, focus in on, on issues that may be more uh, of interest. Uh, we will take your guidance, but we think th this approach, which both my colleague and I uh, propose to follow, as I say, on uh, issues of background and issues that we do not consider particularly controversial, that that, in fact, is, is um, implementing your directions and it, and it will facilitate uh, a speedier proceeding. Otherwise, we're back to line-by-line -line confirmation of each uh, statement. The 
President, uh, Council is not allowed uh, to reply to the response uh, by uh, your learned colleague. The President, the objection by International Co-Counsel for Mr. Kilsampon is not sustained. The Co-Prosecutor can put the same question to the witness. Witness is instructed to respond to the question by the Co-Prosecutor. Mr. Wing Hort, thank you, Mr. President. I would like uh, to remind uh, the witness again concerning the statement I just uh, indicated. Uh, you said you met with the monk who was ordained as a Buddhist monk at Tropeang Thom Pagoda. How long had he been a monk at that pagoda? Response. I do not remember the exact year. However, he had been the monk for about 10 years or less than 10 years. Thank you. Question. Were you close to him during that period? Response. Could you repeat uh, when you're referring to that period? What period are you referring to? Question. I was asking about that uh, you were, you met Tamok, and that you said Tamok had uh, been uh, the monk for about 10 years. During that time when you learned that he had been the monk for 10 years, had you been close to him, to the monk? Response. When he was the monk, I was still at a very young age. And I was not yet uh, ordained as the monk at the pagoda. I knew that he had uh, been ordained. But uh, my relationship with him is more about a young boy to a monk who had uh, been in the pagoda. Question. When Tamok was this robe, uh, what did he do? Response. He left his monk hood when I was too young to know much about this. But I did not see him doing anything. He was disrobed and got married, having a family. I did not see him uh, doing anything other than going about his normal uh, day life. Question, in which year was that? Response, at that time I was very young. I did not yet go to school. But at that time I think East Sara was already established at Tramka district. We call them East Sara Tropeng Sdao. 
but I don't know remember the exact year, but I can guess it was about 1940s, early 1940s. Question. Mr. Q, no, before the co-investigating judges, you said, in 1975, Tamok was the secretary of the Southwest Zone. Do you know how long he had been the uh, East, uh, Southeast Zone as the secretary? Response. I think my knowledge of this was not official. I just heard from others, and I don't know exactly which year was that. Question. In relation to the southwest zone, how many districts were within that zone? Answer, there were many districts and I c cannot recall them all. Question, did you have any communication with the MOC prior to April 1975? Answer, while I was a man at the Bentong Pagoda, where he usually dropped by at the pagoda during his uh, working hours. And he spoke about the various matters and about the situation. That was the limit of the communication I have had with him. Question, let me recalled uh, your statement before the investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges that in April 1975, you were a monk. And uh, what happened to you on the 17th April 1975? after the news that the Lunar regime was toppled. Answer, can you please repeat your question? In April, in, on the 17th April 1975, you were still a man. That's your statement before the OCIG investigators and that on the 17th April 1975, after the fall of the lunar regime, what happened to you? Answer. Mans arriving from Phnom Penh and from Takeo gathered And we heard that Onka instructed us to leave the manhood, and then I did, but I cannot recall the exact date. However, it was after that, April 1975. Uh, question. You made a statement before the co-investigating judges that the plan to disrupt the monks were, had been put in place long before that and all the monks were aware of the plan. How did you come to know about the plan to disrupt the monks? 
Mr. Witness, you please hold on to your response, defense counsel. And what um, the national prosecutor made uh, some statements, claims to be that of the witness, but I have been I have not been able to locate that portion of the uh, statements. For example, that uh, the Mok was a man for 10 years. I would appreciate if you can instruct the prosecutor to tell us the document ID and the ER number of the relevant page. The prosecutor, Mr. President, I to present a document, of course, to the council. With your permission, I can read it to the council. The president, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Angodam. The document is E3-507. The EN number, I only have the EN in command, that is 0035548 to 0035542. Witness, let me continue to put question to you. After 17 April 1975, could the ordinary people practice their religion? Answer. They could do it through a, a limited uh, degree. And that applied only to the Trumpkot district, as I only knew about it. I did not have knowledge about the practice in other region or zone. And I only knew the two locations in the Trumpkot district. That is Ong Roka Pagoda and Tanada Pagoda. Question. After 17 April 1975, were monks allowed to maintain the monkhood? Answer. When I left the monkhood with the mature, maturity of the monks, there were remaining monks at the room, and I could not grasp the situation at that pagoda. And later on, I did not know whether the remaining monks left the manhood. I referred through the two pagodas in. Tramcock district. I'd like to ask you now regarding the evacuation of people. In your statement before the investigators of the OCIJ that on the 17th April 1975, you saw many people traveling on the road, they were evacuated from Phnom Penh and Takao. Can you tell the court 
of what you saw at the time? Answer. I saw the movement from Champa Pagoda to another pagoda and regarding the movement from Phnom Penh or from Takaev, I was only told of uh, that event. I did not witness it myself. And I saw some people whom I knew, but I did not uh, know personally about the evacuation from Phnom Penh or from Takaev. The President Defense Council, you may proceed. Merci. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, a quick point. Uh, earlier on, when I made an objection regarding uh, refreshing the witness's memory, and in relation to the first question that was put to him by the prosecutor, and I was answered that this practice was justified by the non-challenged character and the general character of uh, the topic at hand, and here I see that uh, we're speaking about facts uh, regarding the period following 17 April, and as of the first question, the, prose the National Prosecutor is repeating this practice, which consists in immediately reminding the witness what he said previously, instead of uh, moving ahead uh, with his topic by asking an open question and uh, then refreshing his memory if it's only necessary. But I don't think that uh, regarding the facts uh, that, uh, that we are involved in now, such a practice is well suited. This is uh, my objection. Have I been clear? Look, the president, could you replace your point? I did not hear. He said up to 1979. He spoke about the event in 1975. Can you tell us the exact point of your objection? We would like to remind you, Council, and all the parties that if you wish to object, please be on your feet and rest your hand before the witness replies to the question and not after the conclusion of the response by the witness. And in order to clear this matter, please, restate your point of objection clearly. I believe that I had spoken quite clearly, but of course uh, the translation maybe uh, might have made things a bit difficult. This is normal. I am not... Uh, criticizing the interpreters. The national prosecutor is beginning with a series of questions on the evacuation, and these are facts that your chamber is seized of, and instead of questioning the witness with open questions, his first question, the prosecutor's first question, is geared to reminding the witness what he said previously when he had been questioned by the investigators of the OCIJ. And my objection consists in telling you that, okay, I'm willing to understand that uh, when we're dealing with questions regarding a general context uh, uh, which a priori has not been challenged, well, this could be acceptable, but I believe that when we speak about facts, it is necessary to ask first an open question rather than to immediately uh, try to refresh the witness's memory. 
chương trình lưu The President Judge Lavange, you may proceed. Just hold on. The lead co-lawyer for the civil party, you may proceed. Yes, Mr. President, regarding this issue, maybe I didn't understand your latest uh, memorandum clearly that was uh, filed a, year, a, a, a day or two ago. And the chamber, as far as I remember, stated that it was not necessary to ask questions to verify what had already been stated to the OCIJ, and that the content of uh, uh, the written records could be considered a priori as a truth, and therefore we could ask questions beyond what had already been said to the investigating judges. This is uh, why I believe the co-prosecutors are proceeding this way, which is helping us to gain a lot of time, and it was already the case this morning. Judge Lavanche, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Indeed, uh, the Chamber filed a memorandum a little while ago, very. But the Chamber's point is to make sure that the court time is used as efficiently as possible, in particular when we uh, examine witnesses who have already been questioned by the OCIJ. Witnesses uh, who ha uh, whose records we have um, read and that we have become apprised of, and the president at the beginning of each hearing is puts questions to the, puts puts the following question to the wit to witness to ask if he agrees uh, with uh, the statements that the witness provided to the co-investigating judges. So there is no challenging here. It's not necessary to go over the um, questioning since the start. These are only comp we should only ask complementary questions. This is why um, a summary of previous statements is not surprising. The only thing here is that if the witness disagrees with the way that the questions are formulated or if the way the, or with the way the questions are reminded to him, must make this known to us when he answers. Très brièvement, je... Very briefly speaking, I wish to remind you that this witness precisely expressed reservations regarding what was read to him or what he read himself in the record. And he did not go into detail, but... And we, and, and this uh, leads me to the idea that uh, it might be necessary to be cautious with uh, the uh, statements of uh, the witness uh, here at the stand. Uh, President, Defense Council. Do you have anything in mind that you'd like to press? And with, um, as I see the defense team next to me was on his feet, so I wait for him to conclude first. With your permission, I'd like to make a brief uh, comment. You may proceed, says the president. As Judge LaVange stated, based on the memorandum of the trial chamber, if the witness already states and confirms his statement, we should not repeat the question again. However, I have observed that from moving from one point to the next, the prosecutor read the statement of the witness in order to recall his memory and then he attempts to put question after. Is that necessary? Is it a kind of a leading question? Because the response is already given before the question is put. 
or whether the, this similar this question is not conformed to the instruction by the trial chamber. The president, the national prosecutor, please refresh your question to make it the most appropriate and pursuant to the memorandum and tries to avoid objection raised against your question by various parties. You said that you have not prepared your document to be put to this uh, question and you failed to provide the French or the English UEN of the document. You should have ample time for your preparation before you are here to question the witness. So please try to put a short and precise question to the witness. And try not to restate the statement made by the witness already. Try to use new questions or supplementary questions to be put to this witness. National Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Kuhner, I'd like to ask you the following question. Why those people were evacuated, why the monks were evacuated from Phnom Penh and Takao? Answer. Thousands of people were evacuated. You could see a crowd of people everywhere. And I recognize some of the people who were living in Phnom Penh, some of my relatives in Phnom Penh and Dakar, and I met them and I asked them, and that's how I learned about the evacuation. Thank you. Question. During the evacuation, and you witnessed thousands of people, did you see monks were being evacuated as well? Answer. As for the monks, I already stated earlier, they came from Takao and Phnom Penh, and they gathered at Ongroka Pagoda, and I was there as well. Then I left the manhood, or disordained with some of the monks there. Those people who disordained with me were also uh, coming from Takao and Phnom Penh. Question. As you observe a massive number of evacuees, did you see the at risk group, including children, the sick, and the elderly? Did the Khmerus make necessary preparation for them? And so I did not go and inspect everywhere or every place. So I cannot say generally about the arrangement for those people. But yes, uh, uh, an arrangement was put in place. But I did not know the details uh, about how people were organized and received. Because I was a monk then, I did not just uh, travel everywhere as a monk. Thank you. Question. The Khmer Rouge cadres, did they also escort the evacuees? Answer, I saw them. I saw them traveling and organizing the accommodation for the evacuees. Thank you. Question. 
when you saw the cadres organizing people for accommodation, as you stated, did the people could walk freely, for instance, walking away from those cadres? Answer. I did not uh, observe such a uh, detail because there were so many people at the time. I, and at that time, people were not yet put into group or team. The most important thing was for them to have a food and accommodation. And they went to, mostly they went to their native uh, places. Question. Based on your observation, did you know the reason for them to leave Phnom Penh? Answer. We knew from one another that uh, they were evacuated out. But we, of course, did not hear it from any uh, supervisor. We heard that uh, through people, through the militia, talking. So I could say that it was uh, not an official information. Question. Besides hearing it uh, from the militia, did you discuss this matter with Tamok? Answer. At that time, I did not meet with uh, Tamok or discuss this matter with, with him. At that time, people at the base of the village and communes received those people, including the commune and the village militias. Question. Did Tamok allow you to work with him on certain matters? Quest, uh, answer when? Can you specify the time? It was around 1975 and 76. Did the mob ask you to work uh, with him? Answer. Yes, he called me. Initially, he did not uh, have me work. I was an uh, idol. But he told me, he asked me to go and help him with the currency, but I did not uh, even lay hand on any money yet at the time. I could assist with uh, some miscellaneous matters, including counting uh, goods and uh, tools. As for the uh, military, they made some uh, banana plantations, so then I assist them with uh, fixing the tools, including the holes. Question. At that time, did you know about uh, the fact that the cooperatives were established? Answer. I did not know the exact date of the establishment of the cooperatives. I only knew they were established but I did not pay attention to when they were established. Question. Did you know who actually created the cooperatives? Answer. As for the... Uh, in general, we were not politicians or spies. We knew the word Onka. Onka instructed us to do this, to do this or to do that. We did not know on who Onka was. Question. Did you hear any person 
was accused of being an enemy during that time. Answer, we heard from one another, but I never actually saw it uh, personally. So it was not uh, official. I heard about that, but I did not uh, pay attention to it. Question. When you heard that uh, someone was accused of being an enemy, do you know what happened to that uh, person? Answer, I did not know. I did not know the details of what happened to that uh, person. Mr. President, I now conclude my question, and I thank you, Mr. Kivner. You will be questioned by my colleague later. The President. Thank you, Mr. Kiuno. Mr. Kiuno, the time is uh, appropriate for the adjournment for today's proceeding, and the hearing of your testimony has not yet concluded, and it will reconvene tomorrow morning. So you are invited to come to the court again to provide your testimony starting from 9 a.m. Court officer, could you assist the witness with the cooperation of Wisu to have his return to his uh, place where he stayed and have him returned to the courtroom tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. The proceeding today has come to a conclusion the court will recess and be convened tomorrow morning, starting from 9 a.m. And we will continue to hear the questions put through the witness Q note by the prosecution and uh, by the lead co-lawyers, and if the time is available, then to by the defense teams. Security guards are instructed to bring the three accused back to the detention facility and have them back here in the court room tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. As for Mr. In Sari, if he wishes to waive his direct presence in the court room and to follow it through audiovisual means in the holding cell downstairs, through his written letter of waiver, then the security guard please liaise with the greffier and to have Mr. Ian Sari placed in the holding cell so that he can follow the proceedings through audiovisual means. As for the letter of waiver, of Mr. Insari, the chamber will decide uh, before the proceeding commence. All rise, says the graphic.